Using the SEO Friendly Images plugin to optimize images, whenever you have an image in your site, it's an extra opportunity to tell the search engines what your image is and also what it's about, because keep in mind the search engines, at least at this point, can't readily view images and recognize what they are. We have to tell them through text what the images are. So if you're just uploading images and not creating alt tags for them, you're missing out on an opportunity to tell the search engines one more time what your site's about. And remember, this, I know this sounds repetitious, but uh, you know if you're your site is about custom embroidered hats and you have a picture of custom embroidered hats, you want to make sure that Google understands that it's not a picture of a dog, it's a picture of a custom embroidered hat. So first I'm going to talk about how to tag your images in general, then I'm going to talk about how this plugin helps make your life easier for images already on your site. I'm here in a post and to add an image I can just go ahead and, and click here. And of course my stuff looks a little bit scrunched here, but uh, you can go ahead and, and upload files that are on your computer. I'm going to go ahead and use ones that are already on my blog here in the gallery just to, to show you an example. Uh, this is a, an image that I uploaded. It's just a black box, but uh, of course I'm just showing you an op uh, how this works here. I uploaded an image and I called it custom embroidered hats and then the, for the description I wrote custom embroidered hat. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this into my post. Right here, insert into post, and now you'll see there it is. So let's go ahead and, and update this post. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Just bear with me. Sometimes when I record my screen, it, it lags a little bit. I'm going to refresh this page here, and you'll see that I have an image in here now. And uh, if I hold my cursor over it, it does come up custom embroidered hats. And if I look at the source code, there would be an alt tag that says custom embroidered hats. So again, this is a, a thing that I really suggest that you do. It, it does help. Now the thing is, you might be saying to yourself, oh man, I already have a ton of images on my site. I don't want to go back and, and do this for every single one. Well, that's where the plugin comes into play. SEO friendly images. Uh, once it's activated, you just go under settings. And here, you can set the global settings. What this will do is it will take every single image that you have and it will add an alt and title tag for you if you already don't have one yourself. So this is a, a real lifesaver for people that already have established sites. And here you can mess around with the options on what it's going to call your image. It's going to take the image and call it something related to the title um, of your post and also of course the, the, the name of the image if you have one. So. Um, just go ahead and do that. You can dive into the individual settings if you want to, but the general gist here is that you can set this up. Uh, this is what it's set up by default. I just leave that the way it is. As long as it's activated, it'll go back and it will automatically pop in some alt attributes and titles for your images, which is a real lifesaver.